We're sitting at Port Ballon Tree here now looking at the uh, the creels that are ready to go out for the summer season, catching lobsters and crabs. So the next series of videos of the coast office, we're going to try and build something like this in front of us. Uh, we're going to break it down into a series of videos for you to follow that we can hopefully end up with something like this that will be usable. Okay, so stage one of making the creel is going to be making, making the base here. Um, and that's the way up we want it. We want all the nails sticking up the way and we want the base of it as clean as we can so that we're sliding over the side of the boat uh, there'll be no obstructions. And all the nails bent over on the inside so that we're not catching them as well. They'll all be within the netting when you're handling them later on when we're fishing. These bars here for tying the stone in, you can see, and then these here then are putting for the, the arches in later. And we've drilled the holes and these ones ready to go. What we'll do now is we'll just break it down quickly, um, how to put together. Like you can see, we've just, we've just uh, taken apart some old pallets. It's not um, <coughs> really high-tech engineering. All the wood's different sizes, it doesn't matter. We can all cover that as we, as we build it, okay? So all we've done here is we've cut up our bits apart. Uh, the long bits there, are, and this one, are about 27 inches long. And across the way, the bits underneath there are about 18 inches wide. So that's the, that's the size of our creel. Uh, so all you do is lay it out like that, make sure the, the small bits are underneath. So again, we're keeping the, the nails going through to the inside of the creel, because this will be upside down when it's made. And just nail, set it all out and nail it all together. So we'll get Nigel in to do the uh, to do the nailing. It's key to get the corner square as he as he goes there. using round wire nails They're deliberately long so that we can bend them over to, to clench the wood together better if they're too short that the, the wood swells on the water and tends to pull itself apart Especially with the corner ones there, he's put the three nails in, leaving space for that hole we need to drill later on to put the, uh, the arch in. four corners in now so that should be square so now it's just a case of getting these bits of wood sort of equally spaced it's too close together the creel there's a lot of wood in it makes it very floaty you need more weight to keep it down <coughs> and obviously if the gaps are too big everything can crawl out through the hole so in this this one here we had using just five slats of wood. Again, you can see the wood, it's all different shapes and sizes. Um, it doesn't matter, we, can, we will work with it. Two bits again go underneath and nailed in. These are to eventually tie the stone down. So spacing of these is really just enough to get a bit of rope around it 
and leave plenty of space for the stone itself. So the nails not through that so next stage is just to bend them all over uh, just trying to keep them so that they're not uh, snagging too much on things corner ones are always just taking care not to bend them into the area again where we'll be drilling the hole for the, uh, the arch to go in